Hi, this is Sergeant Beast Larson, CO Life. We're gonna to talk today about inspections. The difference in, in county detention centers and state prisons. And this one is gonna be like some of the other very, very big difference. Inspe I'm talking inspections from, from supervisor, from unit managers, deputy warden, wardens, superintendents, whatever words you, that you're choosing. Now in a county jail level, county detention center, you know, your, your shift supervisors are going to, supposed to come through every shift. Sometimes with the county, they're supposed to come through two to three times in an eight or 12 hour shift. All that is a policy that's kind of set in stone. They come through, they're just coming through, signing your logbook. Y'all know what logbooks are. If it didn't get wrote down, it didn't happen. If it's not on paper, it didn't happen. Don't worry about the cameras and eyewitness stuff. If it's not wrote down in paper, it didn't happen. I said that three times for a reason. This will make you or break you, save you or sink you. They come in, they're gonna do the logbook, they're looking around, they leave. Two to three minutes, they probably won't talk unless there's something specific they need an officer for. That's, that's first line supervision inspection. On the county level, how often do you have like higher ranking people, the jailer, the superintendent, come in for inspection, a captain, once a week? It varies. It varies on programs. It varies on what's going on. It varies on problems. When things are running smoothly, they can tend to not come in and inspect as much. What are they inspecting for? Inmates that are injured, safety, cleanliness. You know the good things. You got to be safe in there. You got to be things secured. You know, you have a lot more mops and brooms and, and cleaning equipment out frequently on the county level. They're constantly cleaning. And depending if there's lockers or not, or if it's just a bed and they put everything underneath the bed. You know, you don't want bugs. You don't want roaches. You don't want rats either county or the state level. So that's some of the things that they're looking for. Everything to be good, kind of checklist, a mental checklist they have to go through there. Also want to see uniformity, make sure everybody has their properly assigned, you know, county detention uniforms, jumpsuits, whatever they're wearing at your facility. You know, and if there's problems that they don't. And then any other little little problems, heating and air problems, problems with the wall, are they trying to carve holes in the wall or behind the toilet, stuff like that, structural damage. You know, that's normal, normal things. On the on the state level and, and the prison level, it's much different. It, inspection is not just about the safety and security, the things I just mentioned. It's also about compliance. I'm going to throw that word compliance in there. And these things were scheduled 9 o'clock every morning inspection at the prison, Monday through Thursday, sometimes on Friday, but, but not likely because Friday was considered a weekend day, meaning... They only had breakfast and dinner on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So Monday through Thursday, these guys know they get up and they have breakfast in the morning. Your dorm officers, you know, getting everybody up. They go to chow, come back between 6 and 7.30ish. Should be done, you know, done before 8. Inspections at 9 o'clock. So after their, their breakfast chow, that gives them at least an hour to clean their, make sure their rooms are clean, the dorm is clean, the floors are clean, swept. They, they look presentable. You know, and a lot of this gets done the night before. They have to be standing outside of the cell. You know, these are two-man cells in general population. Standing outside the cell, side by side with their buddy, full state dressed, and down there they had the white pants with a, white pants with a stripe and had the shirt with the blue trim, and they had their ID card, had to be clipped. Didn't have an ID card, and a warden went around, deputy wardens, when he went, it was a team, usually five to six uh, higher administrators, plus your cert guys, your cert commander, cert lieutenant or sergeant, whoever was the highest ranking was with the warden, walked with the warden. And then, you know, I was on day shift on cert team for a year. We, we would have a lieutenant plus four of us first thing in the morning, four or five of us. So we, we did things. The warden might tell us, hey, when I get to this building, when I get to D1, there's been some problems, you know, I want to spend some time, do a little bit of searching. He'd tell that to the cert lieutenant, cert lieutenant tells us, 
you know, they give us the orders. Sometimes we go in and just stand. Sometimes we had orders to go in and start searching. Sometimes we had orders to go in and we were going to remove some people, remove some inmates. So whatever the orders are given, so that this inspection is, is about, you know, same things, bugs, you know, roaches. And I say roaches besides bugs because there's different bugs. Different bugs have different problems. Bugs, roaches, inmates aren't keeping spiders or mice as pets. We're looking for the rodents to come in. And we had a lot of skunks in Georgia. Make sure there was no skunks. Now, I never saw a skunk in an inmate cell. I've seen them go in a dorm and I've seen them exit the dorm. But I've never seen an inmate try and keep a skunk. They would feed them through the fence on the way to chow and back, but they never got one in. But when you say it never happened, somebody's happened and we just didn't find it. The warden would go through, a lot of times, he might take a, you know, part of the lower range or the upper range, and then the other administrators, they would, they would spread out. But each cell got walked through by an administrator. And usually as the administrator did that, there was a CERT guy walking you know, side by side with him for protection and, and also assistance during a search or anything or a pat down by an inmate. You know, at the prison, the administrators, the unit managers, deputy wardens that did this inspection, even the warden, I've watched them many times themselves would say, hey, Sarge, hey, hey, sir, we're going to pat these four guys down. I've watched the warden pat down people side by side with me, the deputy wardens. They're going to do that. You know, it's their place. They're responsible. They also want the answers. They're also there for a reason. Their morning meeting, they discuss what their inspection is going to entail, where they need to hit for the day. They may not hit every dorm every day. They may only hit, hit some of the dorms. Just depends on their agenda. I've seen fights during the inspections. I've seen inmates attack each other during inspections. We've sprayed with the warden and administrators in a dorm. We've sprayed, sprayed a mace, you know, had use of force. We've tased people. You know, it, it's, not, it's not just a happy inspection. Everybody standing up like this, everybody meaning inmates on the wall and acting perfect. They're not doing this perfect stuff. They're not acting as good. They're not as motivated to be good like on the county level. These are life without parole, and a lot of them could care less what the warden said. They could care less if the warden took away this and took away that. They're fine with laying in their bed 24 hours a day, 23 hours a day, minus going to chow, reading a book and sleeping. There's guys that'll almost sleep five years away and don't even realize it. Wake up all wrinkly, face looks all messed up, eyes, hardly even brush their teeth in five years because they figure out well, best way to get through prison life is sleep it away. So there's an enormous amount of things that can happen and to look for in a prison because they are there for life. That's their, that becomes their home. Now they'll get moved from dorm to dorm, from building to building. You know, every couple years or however long they may get moved to other facility, they may end up staying. We had some people at Hayes for eight to 10 years that hadn't left. Just depends, but it's a routine and it's mandatory at 9 a.m. They have to get up. Now, if you're working in, in the tier units, your ISO seg units, you, you're talking through the door, you've got to make sure that they get up, make sure that when, when you announce your inspection, you know, the warden's on deck, you know, the officer, dorm officer there, yell warden on deck, whatever, you know, and they'll yell female staff on deck if there's females coming in too. They give that announcement in the ISO seg units, those guys need to be, have their beds made, their trash all cleaned up, so when they come and look through that little window up here, maybe it's a square, maybe it's a little one. When they come look through there, the warden in that, superintendents, deputy wardens, they want to see the inmate standing in the back of the cell, all the way in the back, so they can see them from head to toe. They're examining if they have state uniform, they have bedding, their floor is clean, they're looking to make sure that there's no blood in there, no signs of them being sick or violent. Their uniforms aren't bloody. There's no marks or cutting. There's no dangerous strips of sheets around that they can hang themselves with. None of that. And also to make sure there's no mops and brooms laying around. You know, they do cell sanitation. They give that back. They're not supposed to keep things in there. So that's that's what they're looking for inside there. The the common area of uh, ISO seg unit is cleaned by dorm orderlies. So they're there all day and they clean. And, and that's usually pretty easy to have that look look very, very passable to a warden. They usually don't come in on that. 
but they look in the cells and they want to make sure that they're up and dressed and, and everything's squared away. Everything is straight. You know what that word means, straight. Everything's okay. So there's a lot more involved in this morning inspection in a prison will go from nine until usually about 1045, 11. They, they tend to try to start lunch about 1045 to 11. But if he's not finished, he'll keep going whatever he needs to do if he needs to do them all. Or if there's special guests coming that want to walk through all, then they're going to get through them. They'll just feed the dorms that's already inspected first. They'll start that list that way. When they want to inspect, they're going to inspect. And they're expected to be state ready, state dressed from 8 to 4. After 4, then they can take off the state uniform and put on their, their jog and sweatpants or whatever that they've legally ordered from the store. Or got as a care package that they're allowed to have. So that's kind of the difference. The inspection becomes a big difference and a challenge. And as a CERT member, you know, when you come in first thing in the morning on day shift, you know, you're coming in at 530, go through the gate, get your stuff, you know, get with a, with a lieutenant, the night lieutenant, as he's getting ready to get off, morning lieutenant coming in for the 6 a.m. for us, you start playing, you go from chow to inspection, back to chow, and that's, that's it. You're just like, go, go, go from 530 until 2 o'clock, 2.30. That does become a huge part of your day. Whereas on the county detention, the county jail level, they go around inspection and doing something. If you're a dorm officer, they're, they're in and out, you know, maybe five minutes, that's it, you're relaxing. They're not in there for 30 minutes to 60 minutes in your dorm. If you're involved in, you know, it is a tactical squad or, or a cert being with them, you, you don't have hours tied up in this. You may have minutes tied up. And that's, that's kind of the difference kind of the difference. And I've mentioned in other videos, in, in the prison world, as a correction officer, your days are, you know, Monday through Thursday, your your business days, you can, you can set the clock on your activity. By the sun overhead, you know exactly what's next. Because every day is exactly the same. Now, a different video, I'm going to talk about the Friday uh, Warden's Chicken Box you're gonna love these stories, chicken box stories. So this is this is dorm life. Remember, strategy, what if, plan ahead, is controlled by the gangs. If they wanna do something, those 50 to 100 are gonna do something because there's only one of you in there. So think about how you're gonna to react to what they're thinking about doing or overtaking. Think safety, think tactical. Don't forget to like, share, hit the subscribe button, Sergeant Beast Larson, Team Beast, thanks for joining.